this area is called Motijil. Actually, this is the place, no? When Mother Teresa, when got first opportunity, no? Came out from the convent and got this place. And this is the original place where she started her work for the poorest of the poor, especially this slums area. Now you see little bit better condition, but those days it was not so. No? So many things were here, many things were removed. And we saw in the left side the original building where in fact she started her work. No? Originally schools for the children. And she began her work from here and slowly slowly spread rest of the Calcutta cities. And therefore in a historical way this place is very very important for the sisters, especially in the life of Mother Teresa. Motijil is uh, one of the biggest slum in Calcutta. Those days when talking about when Mother Teresa started her work, it was known as one of the biggest slums. And Mother Teresa felt to do something for the children, for the lo local people of this area. And here is there are mixed community. There are Muslims, there are Hindus, there are Catholics. No, it's a mixed community. Moti means uh, if you see the Moti, Moti means in the uh, astrologer means it's stone. My name is Biswajit Mondol, uh, son of uh, Bartha Mondol. Actually, Mother Teresa got my mama to the one of the big garbage in the Sisu Bhavan. Uh, that's why I know very well Mother Teresa, about the Mother Teresa. This is the special of Mother Teresa because of that uh, she loves the poor people. The poor people love Mother Teresa. Nirman with the school. Motiji. So this is the chapel of Our Lady of Fatima, was inaugurated by Father J. Henry S. J. together with Mother Teresa on February 3rd, 1951. The dedicated chapel was rebuilt in 2012. The bricks of this old chapel are placed in the foundation of the chapel. Uh, the grotto outside that you see the grotto here over there uh, the chapel is rebuilt with the stone of the old grotto wow. and in front of you you see the original school called Nirmal Ridai school was started by Mother Teresa I left my birth mother because I had polio but I was rescued like you and your mother by Saint Teresa of Calcutta but now I teach disabled people to fly aeroplanes and the school is called Freedom in the Air because it's about being free from our problems and our disability. You're laughing. It's good? Did you not think that I would be a pilot? Did you think someone with crutches can fly a plane? That's why I got that. How can you fly a plane? Because if your leg is not properly working, maybe your brain is... It's about having a dream. And it's about having a passion in your heart. Right? And it's about not giving up. In fact, uh, as you have experienced and touched by Mother Teresa and her love, no? Today, maybe our possibilities are there through you. Many more people will come to know the place. Many people will come to know the how Mother Teresa studied her work and what kind of still people are living here. Maybe you will be an instrument bringing, giving this message to the rest of the world. And I wish you all the best. We are becoming an eyewitness to these people. And I appreciate the work that you are doing. And God bless you. Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa, thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.